guys, today I'm filming my monthly makeup basket for March. I'm filming this video on March 8th, so it is going up a little bit later. There have been a couple months of a gap between monthly makeup basket. I had actually filmed one for January, but I'm so behind in my videos. There felt to be no point in posting it because it was so, so late and I really just wasn't excited about my winter makeup to begin with, but I am feeling excited about my spring makeup. So I do have some good old standbys in here. I have some new products and some things that are on the chopping block for me. So we are just going to jump right on in with nail polishes and I actually have tons of polish that I want to wear this spring, but I only do my nails once a month. So I don't know how I'm going to get through all of them, but I really looking at my collection now need to try to weed through some of them and get rid of some. But these four are staying for sure because they are so unique and amazing. These are four polishes from nine zero lacquer, which is an amazing brand created by Jess face 90. What I'm wearing on my nails today is this beautiful purple called June 2016. And this just looks like a really pretty purple but when you get this in the sun you can see all the holographic pieces and it is amazing so absolutely love this one the other shades i have this one is cotton tail which is so cool and it just looks kind of like a champagne but it actually looks a lot more of like a pink champagne when you apply it to the nails it's a really unique and beautiful color then we've got robin's egg which is the most beautiful blue robin egg color with some speckled pieces in here it's so so pretty you have more of like the shard glitters and then some really really fine gold glitter in there and then we have the one that is my least favorite it is budding this is a beautiful green i just am not that crazy about greens but this one is really unique and really pretty so i am excited to wear it some more so ugh. Some good old standbys. I definitely recommend you guys go pick up all of these polishes and check out Jess's site because they're amazing polishes that she makes by hand. They all have fantastic formulas and she comes up with really unique shades. Moving on to brow products. I'm starting with my NYX Eyebrow Shaper Wax Pencil. We only have a little bit of this left. I'm hoping I can finish this within the next month or two. I already have a couple backups. Then I have my NYX Micro Brow Pencil in the shade Taupe. I only have a little bit of a nubbin left, which is great. I have several backups, but I'll be excited to finish up one of those. Then I have my Anastasia Brow Definer Pencil. I only have a small little nubbin left, so hopefully I can finish this this month. And if I finish it soon enough, I'll move on to my next brow pencil, which is the It Cosmetics Brow Power in Universal Taupe. And then I'm holding my brows in place with the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. Moving on to complexion products. Like always, I have a very intense product heavy complexion routine for primers. I'm starting with the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. Then I am using the Becca Backlight Priming Filter, give me a nice glow. And then I'm using the Urban K Optical Illusion Primer to help fill in my pores. For foundation, I'm using a combo of the It Cosmetics Matte CC Cream in the shade Fair and the ColourPop No Filter Foundation in Fair 15. Then for concealer, under my eyes, I'm using the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye in the shade Light Fair. And then for blemishes, I'm using the Estee Lauder Dub Wear in the shade Extra Light. And then to help fill my forehead wrinkles, I'm using my MAC Studio Finish Concealer in NC15. For powder, I am setting my under eye with the Cover FX Perfect Loose Setting Powder. And then I'm going over top of that with the Maybelline Superstay Full Coverage Powder in 102 Fair Porcelain. I'm using this to help brighten under my eyes and the center of my face. Then for my face setting powder, I'm using a combination of the Too Faced Born This Way Ethereal Loose Setting Powder and the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder because this one can be a little dark and a little yellow, so that combo works perfectly for me. Then for setting spray, I am using the Too Faced Peach Mist Mattifying Setting Spray. Then for cheek products, for bronzer, I am using the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer in the original bronzer shade. This is going to be my go-to spring bronzer. I did just repress that last night. Then to contour, my go-to for spring is the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. For highlight, I have two that I'm going to be using this month. The first is something that 
is in my chopping block. This is the Pixie Glowy Powder in London Luster. You can see I have hit pan on this. I hit pan on it last year, but I have a lot of highlights in my collection and I want to decide whether I really need to keep that one or not. Then the other one I'm going to be using is Becca's Moonstone, a really beautiful light golden champagne highlight that will be really great with all of these blushes. Then I do have two cream products I want to test out. That would be the Cover Effects Custom Enhancer Drops in Sunkiss, which is a light bronzer. And then I have the Benefit Dandelion Dew, which is a liquid blush. This is like a very pale, slightly warm base pink. And then this bronzer seems to be a little bit more neutral tone, slightly a little green. I have not used this one yet and I've used this a couple of times. So I just wanna push myself to use some more cream cheek products. For powder blush, I do have five. This first one is new to me and I'm wearing it today. This is Hourglass Dim Infusion, which is a really beautiful shimmery light peach blush, but I was able to build it up a good bit, which is great and I do have a very fair skin tone as well. Then I have the Elamasca Powder Blush in the shade Naked Rose, which is something I haven't used a ton in my collection and want to get more use out of. Then we've got one of my good old staples. This is the It Cosmetics CC Radiance Ombre Blush in Je Ne Sais Quoi. Another neglected blush of mine would be Lorac Spectra really really pretty warm pink and then for a more peachy option we have the Tarte Amazonian Clay Blush in Captivating. So those are all of the cheek products I'm going to be using this month. Next for eye products. For primer I'm using the Smashbox 24 hour photo finish primer. I used up my Milani one in January and I've already used up this much of the Smashbox in a month. This must not have been completely full. I, I just can't imagine that it was. And I don't know if this is a full size or not. You get 0.14 fluid ounces or four mils. I'll definitely have to look it up. I'm enjoying the formula of this. It's very different. It's very, very thin, a little slippery, but not super greasy. It's different than the Too Faced Shadow Insurance that I hate. It's interesting and I'm going through it pretty quickly. So hopefully in maybe like two months I could use that up or three months max. Then we've got some different eyeshadows that I am going to be playing with. I'll show you my singles and then I'll show you the palettes I'm going to be using. So I have got the Maybelline Color Tattoo in Too Cool, which is a shimmery white I like to use as a base. Then I've got my ColourPop Super Shock Shadow in Daddy, which is a pressed pigment. It's a really intense bright matte purple. Then I've got the Stila Glitter and Glow in Wanderlust and the Stila Glitter and Glow in Sea Siren, which is such a beautiful shade that I really, really love to wear in the spring. Then I do have one of the Tarte Chrome Paint Shadow Pots in the shade Frosé, which is a little bit warmer. It's like a golden pink, but super duper pretty and I love the formula of these. So then for the eyeshadows I'm using to set my primer, the first is Matte Malloy, which is this amazing matte white from the Balm Neat Matte Nude Palette. I'm using this to set the primer under my brow bone. Then from the Too Faced Just Peachy Matte Palette, I am using a mixture of peach meringue and peach butter to set the primer in my crease. And I actually just repressed those two shades together. So that is my current combo. Then for the other shadows I'm going to be using this month, first we've got my palette choice and I've already used this once. This is the Huda Beauty Mercury Retrograde Palette. I got this for Christmas and really like half of this palette is neutrals and half of it is beautiful pastel -y shades. So I'm going to be going for the really beautiful pastel -y shades. So I definitely need to look up some tutorials with it. I really like the one look that I've created so far. And then we have my single shadows palette, which is actually a lot bigger than it was last year. So I'm going to hold this up to the screen for a while and then I'll have all the colors listed down below. But basically I have a mix of Mac, Makeup Geek, ColourPop, Luxy Beauty, and Davina eyeshadows in here. And then one from Too Faced. I think that covers all of my bases. So here's what my palette looks like. I tried to organize this by pinks, blues, and greens, purples, and then all of these are mini ColourPop shadows, except this one is a mini 
Too Faced eyeshadow. So again, I will have all of the shades listed in the description box. So I am really excited to use some of my old standbys and also test some new shades. I do have the Divina Pixie Sticks collection. I can't really remember what it was called, but you know all the shades that are named after like Willy Wonka candy. So I am excited to try that out. Then for the rest of my eye products for liners, I have the Stila Smudge Stick Waterproof Eyeliner in the turquoise shade. I have the Galactic Precise Eyeliner Marker I'm using to line my eyes and the Clinique Pretty Easy Liquid Lining Pen I'm using for the weighing. This will probably be the last month I use those. I haven't been really wearing liquid liner to work but I do I'm wearing it today and I think it is really nice when I'm wearing like a more colorful eye to like help accentuate it a little bit then for mascara I'm only gonna be using my mascaras for two months this year instead of the three months when I'm using minis so for my base I'm using the Lancome Sills booster then my mascara combo would be the Stila huge extreme lash mascara which I've tried before and I do really like. And then I've got the Benefit Bad Gal Bang Mascara, which is not my favorite, but in this combo it works really well. So both of these are more of a wet formula. This one is a little bit moussier, it's a little thicker. This one is very, very wet, natural bristled brush, plastic bristled wand. So those are all of the eye products I'm gonna be using this month. I'm sure I'm gonna pull for some more like neutral eyeshadows, but those are all the beautiful pastel -like colorful shades. And lastly, we have my lip products. I have six things picked out for this month. Two bullet lipsticks, two glosses, and two liquid lipsticks. And honestly, most of these are products that are on the chopping block for me. They're colors that I like during this season. Some of them are new, some are just neglected, but I'm not sure how you feel about any of them. So I do want to make sure that I use all of them. So the first one is these Too Faced lipsticks. They're like a nude collection. They don't have the uh, the line name on them, but they have like lace packaging. They're really pretty. This first one is the shade Strip Search. It's a very pretty color, but it's really almost too pigmented and too creamy that it like separates on the inside of my lips. It just looks a little funny because it's so stark. This is something that I feel like needs to be blended out with my finger, which I never do with lip products. So I do want to play around with that. It's really pretty in a swatch, but I don't love it as much on the lips. And I have tried mixing it with my next lipstick, which is a MAC shade from the Boom Boom Bloom collection. This is Wagasa Twirl. It's a matte finish. This is a beautiful pink. I bought this because it's a mixture of pink plaid and pretty please I think I'm, I'm not quite sure I'll note down below if that's incorrect but it's a really pretty pinky color but it's a little bit too much of like a mid-tone pink for me I definitely like pinks that are a little bit more on the lighter side so I just haven't gotten that much use out of it because it's it's just not my kind of color. I think when I was swatching next to all these different things in a Mac store, it looked like it would be perfect for me, but I don't know. I need to use it more and maybe come up with some combos. Next for my glosses, these two are new to me. This first one is the Ofra Madison Miller Lip Gloss in Sugar Cup. It's this beautiful pinky purple gloss. This is very thin and wears away really quickly. I just didn't love the way it felt on my lips, but I've only worn it once, so I do want to wear it a couple more times and see what I think, but I am bummed because it is new. The next one is what I'm wearing on my lips today. This is the ColourPop Ultra Glossy Lip in the shade Easy Bake. It came out with the Strawberry Shake palette, and here is what that looks like. Really, really pretty. I have tried pairing this on top of some other lipsticks, and I do like that but I'm wearing it just on its own today and I think it looks really beautiful. It gives a really nice light amount of color. It feels very smooth. It's a little on the thicker side, but not really too sticky, very glossy. So I am really enjoying this one so far. Out of everything, this is my favorite. Then for my two liquid lipsticks, I have the Stila Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick and Perla, which is more cool toned, a little bit more purpley, but it is paler than a lot of the other shades that I tend to use in the winter time. And then we've got the Anastasia Liquid Lipstick in the shade Crush, which is 
more of a warm nude pink, which is really pretty. And I have so many of the Anastasia liquid lipsticks, but it's not my favorite formula anymore. It's just a little bit drying for me, but I would like to get some use out of that shade. So those are the six lip products I want to be testing out over this next month. And that would be my monthly makeup basket. So let me know if you guys still enjoy watching these videos. I switch out my makeup regardless, but let me know if you think this is helpful since I don't do this a typical shot my stash way that other people do because that would not be genuine to me because literally what I do at the beginning of a season I get out all the products that I want to use because I am someone that is very like basic seasonally appropriate when I pick out my products and then I split them up into three months to try to get use out of everything so if I was shopping my stash I would already know everything that I was pulling out of my collection I would just be going through the steps for entertainment purposes but let me know if you guys still like these videos I still like them, but I get it if you want them to not be on my channel anymore. But I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye, guys.